Hi guys! Today's discussion is about break-even point, specifically about multi-product case. This is a bit different from the usual break-even problems we used to solve before since those problems only involve single or only one product. So just to review, break-even point is a technique in evaluating process and equipment alternatives. Its objective is to find the point in dollars and units at which cost equals revenue, and this requires estimation of fixed costs, variable costs, and revenue. Fixed costs are costs that continue even if no units are produced, and variable costs are costs that vary with the volume of units produced. We have the following assumptions in break-even point. First is that costs and revenues are linear functions. Second uh, is costs are known. And the third one is that time value of money is ignored. In our formula, so we have the break-even point in dollars represented by the following, where F is your fixed cost, V is your variable cost per unit, P is the price per unit, and W is the percent each product is of total sales. If you're looking at this formula, so this, so this is familiar uh, with us, so we only added one, um, one factor, which is W. Now let's go to our example. A French style deli offers the following items. Fixed cost is $3,500 per month, and the store operates 312 days a year. So the store offers the following items, sandwich, soft drink, baked potato, tea, and salad. So we are also given the price or the selling price for each item being sold and its corresponding cost or variable cost. Then you also are given annual forecasted sales units. So for our solution, the first thing that we need to do is to create three columns with the following header. So this solution is of tabular type. So for us to be, uh, for us to solve this problem easier. So these columns should be first is the annual sales in dollars. Take note that dollars can be in peso or in any kind of currency. Second is W sub I or the uh, percent at which uh, of dollar sales. And then C is the 1 minus V over P, then multiplied by the W. Then for the second step is to compute for the break-even point in dollars using the formula. So continuation. So we have the following items again. So we are just rewriting from our table. And we added the first. Uh, of the three columns we have indicated before that you have to create a column uh, where uh, it is about the annual forecasted sales in dollars. So this is basically getting the product of your annual forecasted sales in units then multiplied by the price. So for each item ito. So for your sandwich, so that's 2.95, uh, 2 sorry, multiplied by 7,000. So this will give us $20,650 per year. Next, for the soft drink, so that's 0 0.8 multiplied by 7,000. So that's 5,600, followed by baked potato at $7,750 per year. P is $3,750 and salad is $8,550 per year. So let us just continue rewriting. So we have the annual forecasted sales in dollars. So the next, uh, the next step you have to do is to get the total value of your annual forecasted sales in dollars. So getting the sum of everything that should give you $46,300 per year. So the second column indicated on the uh, on the additional three columns is the W sub I. So this is simply getting the uh, the ratio between the the per item annual forecasted sales in dollars divided by the total sales, so which is $46,300. So this will be twenty thousand six fifty 
So, divide by 46,300. So, it should give you 0.446. So, we usually do or use three decimal places uh, in solving the weights. Next is for the soft drink. So, that's 5,600 divided by 46,300. It should give you 0.121. Next, for the uh, for big potato, so we have 0.167. For tea, that's 0 0.081. And finally, for the salad, that's 0 0.185. So, we're now done with the second column. So, the next column is 1 minus V over P. Quantity multiplied by W. So, looking at our table uh, above, so V is the cost and P is the price. So, just using this formula and multiplying accordingly, so the sandwich will give us an answer of 0.257. Again, in this column, we still use three decimal places. For soft drink, so that's 0 0.076. Big potato will be 0.116. Tea is 0 0.054. And salad will give us an answer of 0 0.120. Okay? So, and then the final step is to get the sum of this final column. So, which will give us an answer of 0.623. Now, if you can remember from the formula uh, on the previous slide, so if we get the sum of this third column, so this represents the denominator from our formula. So, let me show you the, the previous slide. Again, this is the formula. So, what we did uh, back there is that we just get the sum or the total of that, uh, of that last column, so which represents the denominator in this formula. So, the next uh, step that we have to do now is just to get the uh, the value of the break-even point in dollars using F and then divide by the sum of the weights or the, the sum of the values in the last column. Okay, so solving for the break-even point in dollars. Now, take note that the sales are expressed in annual term or annual form and the given fixed cost is expressed in months. Hence, it should be converted to annual fixed cost. So, we have to be very careful at this, uh, at this point since every time value should be of the same unit. So, since our values that we have uh, solved uh, for W, for the sale, so those are in annual form. So, we have to also convert our monthly fixed cost into annual costs. So, we, are, we were given 3,500 per month. So, we multiply this by 12 to get the annual fixed cost, which will give us $42,000 per year. So, therefore, your break-even point in dollars per year, so that's 42000 Then, we divide it by 0.623. So, the answer we have from the previous slide. So, we have... Um, a total of $67,415.73. So, that's the break-even point uh, in dollars per year. Okay? So, now, uh, we want to determine the number of units sold to break even. So, we use the following formula. So, for each item, we use the break-even point in dollars divided by the price per item and you multiply by the weight per item. Now, if you want to know the number of units that must be sold daily to break even, the computed break even point in dollars should be in the daily form. So again, uh, if you want to know the break uh, the number of units to break even per day, so your break even point in dollars should be converted on a daily basis. So we were given uh, that the current computed break even point is expressed in annual terms. So, uh, we are also given that the annual operating days is 312 days per year. So, that is simply 
your computed value of 67,415.73 then we divide it by 312 days per year so this should give us an answer of 216.08 dollars per day now the daily break even point again is uh, is there so for our daily units uh, to sell just in order for us to break even so we start off with sandwich so the formula again so that is your daily break even point divide by the price and we multiply by the weight so that's 216 divided by 2.95 times 0.446 so that should give us an answer of 32.67 or rounded up to 33 sandwiches per day okay next so for the soft drink so that's 216.08 we divide it by 0.8 and then multiply it by 0.121 for the weight. So this will give us an answer of 32.68 or roughly 33 soft drinks that should be sold every day. So next is for baked potato. So again, using the formula, so that's uh, the daily break even point divided by the price of baked potato multiplied by the weight so which is 0.167 so the answer is 23.28 or again rounding up to 24 baked potatoes okay and then for the tea so that's 23.34 or 24 uh, orders of tea should be sold and then for the salad, that's 14.02 or roughly 15 orders of salad per day. Now again, in order for the shop to break even on a daily basis, sandwiches should be sold at 33 per day. Soft drinks should be sold at 33 per day. Baked potato should be sold at 24 units per day. And tea and salad should be sold at 24 and 15 respectively per day okay so this ends the the discussion for break-even point in a multi-product case again if you have more questions comments or suggestions please feel free to comment down below and again thank you for watching